merciful and compassionate Father. We confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health and mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear friends, as we prepare to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us place our trust in God. Let us renew our trust in God's love and mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Together, let us glorify our God. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you. We bless you. We adore you. We glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, 
Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who teach us that you abide in hearts that are just and true, grant that we may be so fashioned by your grace as to become a dwelling pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. The first reading is from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Thus says the Lord, Curse is the one who trusts in human beings, who seeks his strength in flesh, whose heart turns away from the Lord. He is like a barren bush in the desert that enjoys no change of season, but stands in a lava waste, a salt and empty earth. Blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, whose hope is the Lord. He is like a tree planted beside the waters that stretches out its roots to the stream. It fears not the heat when it comes. Its leaves stay green in the year of drought. It shows no distress, but still bears fruit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Blessed the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord and meditates on his law day and night. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. He is like a tree planted near running water that yields its fruit in due season and whose leaves never fade, whatever he does, prospers. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Not so the wicked, not so. They are like chaff which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. The second reading is from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, if Christ is preached as raised from the dead, how can some among you say there is no resurrection of the dead? If the dead are not raised, neither has Christ been raised. And if Christ has not been raised, your faith is vain. You are still in your sins. Then those who have fallen asleep in Christ have perished. If for this life only we have hoped in Christ, we are the most pitiable people of all. But now Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Rejoice and be glad. Your reward will be great in heaven. Alleluia, alleluia. Almighty God, cleanse my heart and my lips that I may worthily proclaim your gospel. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus came down with the twelve and stood on a stretch of level ground with a great crowd of his disciples and a large number of the people from all Judea and Jerusalem and the coastal region of Tyre and Sidon. And raising his eyes toward his disciples, he said, Blessed are you poor, for the kingdom of God is yours. Blessed are you who are now hungry, for you will be satisfied. Blessed are you who are now weeping, 
for you will laugh. Blessed are you when people hate you and when they exclude and insult you and denounce your name as evil on account of the Son of Man. Rejoice and leap for joy on that day. Behold, your reward will be great in heaven. For their ancestors treated the prophets in the same way. But woe to you who are rich. For you have received your consolation. Woe to you who are filled now, for you will be hungry. Woe to you who laugh now, for you will grieve and weep. Woe to you when all speak well of you, for their ancestors treated the false prophets in this way. Friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> it is not only gasoline that is expensive these days. One of the most expensive things is trust. It is expensive because it is in such short supply. This is the age of mistrust. It does not help that one of the cheapest things these days are words. Lots of words, little action, little truth. We've never read and heard so many careless words in our life than now. What to believe then? Who should we believe? Ang marami, mura. Ang kakaunti, mahal. Let us beware then of the plenty and cheap. And let us hold on to what is scarce, yet of value. Christ our Lord tells us today to look into the plenty and scarce in our lives and reverse our notion of who are blessed and who are not. If you have plenty of money, satisfaction, laughter, and fame, think twice before you say you have been blessed by God. If you are poor, hungry, weeping, and hated on account of God, think again before saying you have been cursed and forsaken by God. The point of our Lord is direct and simple. Those who are blessed are those who've been so emptied in life as to place their trust in God. And those who are wretched cursed, are those who have plenty enough to forget God and trust only in themselves and in what they have. Let us therefore place our trust in God. Let us take care to renew that trust every day. Let us not be like a tree that grows near a stream, bears fruit, looks at its fruit and proclaims to the forest, this is made by me. This fruit. It looks at its thick foliage, the fullness of its leaves, the strength of its trunk, and says with self-assured satisfaction, all this I have earned, I deserve. All this is because of me. It forgets the stream and the sun, the earth and air that have been sustaining it all this time. It forgets the mystery of its being here and replaces mystery with short-sighted and false clarities. It forgets the grace of its being fed with life and replaces gratitude with entitled pride. 
Let us be wary then of wealth, contentment, frivolity, fame, and the many other positive things we associate with blessings. They are not bad in themselves, but they can get in the way of placing our trust in God. When we are surrounded by plenty, plenty has enough power to make us forget God. As we prepare for the elections, we note that all our candidates have had varying measures of plenty. To help our discernment, we can imagine who among them have been emptied enough in life to place their trust in God? And who among them, when they ascend to power, who among them will likely be intoxicated by the plenty and forget God? These days, many of us are desperate and empty. We want to run away from all this and Rightfully so. But if we cannot avoid running on empty, perhaps we can pause, even if briefly, to catch our breath and remember the very source of fullness and life. When we were running on plenty, we never really had the time. We can turn again to God who breathes life into us and makes us fruitful. Let us renew our trust in God in this time of want and empty. That renewal entails just enough humility to confess that we are dust, yes, but dust come to life from the breath of God. It can mean just enough gratitude to not miss the giver for the gifts we have received. And it can involve just enough faith to know that God is real, God is near, God can be trusted, especially in this age of mistrust, when trust is expensive and in such short supply. Let us entrust our lives to God and pray what we believe. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us man and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Conscious of God's blessings to us, let us raise our voices to our Heavenly Father as we pray for the needs of the whole church. Full of confidence, we pray. Listen to the prayer of your church, Lord. Listen to the prayer of your church, Lord. For the shepherds of the church, may they put their hope in the Lord, who strengthens those who serve his people with integrity 
we pray. Listen to the prayer of your church, Lord. For those who aspire to hold public office in our country, may they have the wisdom, the courage, and the honesty to use their gifts and resources in the service of the country, especially for the poor and the powerless, we pray. Listen, Listen to, to the, the prayer, prayer of your church, church Lord. Lord. For those who are in the front lines against the COVID-19 pandemic, may they find hope, affection, and assistance from the local authorities and their communities, we pray. Listen, Listen to, to the, the prayer, prayer of your church, church Lord. Lord. For our beloved dead, may God's mercy be upon them, that they may reach eternal life with him, we pray. Listen, Listen to, to the prayer of your church, church, Lord. For those celebrating their birthdays, Father Julian Hernando of the Society of Jesus, Ramon Ramento, Father Angel Castro, OFM, Margarita de la Fuente, Boboy Alianan, Ricky Francisco, Jonathan Ching, Vera Echevarria, and Pauline Kianson, we pray. Listen, Listen to, to the prayer prayers. of your church, Lord. For the healing of Maggie Carlos, Henry Tan, Aga Camarata, Alessandra J. Tan, Emily Coaso, Johnson D., and Joanna Dison, we pray. Listen to the prayer of your church, Lord. For the repose of the soul of Alan Matutina, we pray. Listen, Listen to, to the, the prayer, prayer of your church, church, Lord. For the special intentions of Ina Laxon, Chair Halos, Benjamin Barreto, Marge Matutina and family, Lenny Fabul, Fritz and Marivic Ocampo, Hannah Gonzalez, Lisa Halandoni, Susan Jorge, Butch and Nelia Nazareno, and Carissa Singson, we pray. Listen to the prayer of your church, Lord. And for all the intentions sent to our Facebook pages at JESCOM and Radio Katipunan, we pray. Listen, Listen to, to the prayer, prayer of your, your church, church, Lord. Heavenly Father, hear the prayers of your people who hope, who trust in your infinite mercy. May these petitions help us to see our blessedness above all material goods, careers, or honor. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Come for us, our spiritual drink. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this oblation, O Lord, we pray, cleanse and renew us, and may it become for those who do your will the source of eternal reward, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right, just. Our duty, our salvation always, everywhere. To give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal Mystery. And so with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread, and giving thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, especially those who are afflicted and those who suffer. Bring her, your church, to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Ernesto, our Bishop, the clergy, and all those who shepherd and guide your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your friends, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us turn to each other and give each other a sign of Christ's peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Friends, behold the one who blesses us with his life, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that ye should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. Let us pray. Having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, that we may always long for that food by which we truly live, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Please bow down your heads to pray for God's blessing. May Almighty God always keep every adversity far from you and in his kindness pour out upon you the gifts of his blessing. Amen. Amen. May God keep your hearts attentive to his words that they may be filled with everlasting gladness now and forever. Amen. And so may you always understand what is good and right and be found ever hastening along in the path of God's commands, made co-heirs with the citizens of heaven now and forever. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Eucharist has been offered. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God.